Good morning, everyone. Um, oh, that's lovely. Are we going to show everybody your new toy? This is Squidge. You can see what Squidge is. Betty loves Squidge. Um, oh, lovely. She's been lying on the bed. It's taken me probably about 45 minutes to actually make the bed. I've put it on Insta Stories. Every morning I start to make the bed and she jumps all over it. And as soon as I started the camera, we got Squidge and Squidge squeaks. Of course he does. So, yeah, it could be an interesting filming session. You know how she likes to be involved. Um, so, can we just, you know, this is just, I know, it's not a great look. It really isn't. But it serves a purpose. Hair's out the way. I feel much better when it's out of the way. Right. I'm putting some makeup on. It is a requested video. A few weeks ago, I put a no makeup makeup on Instagram. And the lovely Liz asked if I would show you what I did. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, it's also a good opportunity for me to talk about the tinted moisturisers that I tend to reach for when I'm just doing a very simple stay at home, maybe just nipping out to the shops makeup when I just can't summon up the energy to do the full proper face. Um, my favourite, all time favourite tinted moisturiser is the Estee Lauder Daywear which is the sheer tint release with an SPF of 15 and it gives the most amazing colour evenness to the skin particularly great on holiday um, in the evening when you want to just look a little bit glamorous um, I wear absolutely nothing makeup wise on holiday during the day other than SPF I just don't see the point the idea of a holiday for me is not having to think about mascara and blusher so this is my favourite but I'm always on the lookout well oh, that's lovely Got squidgy at my back what more could I ask for um but I'm always on the lookout for maybe something as good as better haven't found it yet I have two which are great moisturizers but they just don't give me that color and that evenness to my skin one is the new origins um, this is the ginseng SPF 40 and it's a sheer tint release just not enough color with this one and then a very nice moisturiser, but again, it does absolutely nothing else, is Periconi MD, which a lot of you have asked about. It's the Face Finishing Moisturiser Tint. You know this one, Betty? Yes. Um, very nice moisturiser, yes. But it doesn't do enough, does it? No. So, I use it as a moisturiser. When it's gone, it's gone. So I did use that on the morning. I'm going to put a little bit on my face so you can see it very sort of white color and then it's supposed to sort of tone into your skin tone and I just don't get that at all it feels lovely it is a really nice moisturizer really nice isn't it you like it yeah So, I have this, which is nearly at the end. I do have another one. You know me, spares. And it's an unremarkable colour, as all tinted moisturisers are. That's it. And then it does just... warm and change to the colour of your skin. You can always, if you don't have a tinted moisturiser, you don't have to rush out and buy one. You can just add a little bit of foundation to your moisturiser and create your own. And that way you can uh, create the colour that really works for you. So that was my base, the Estee Lauder Daywear. Um, probably the longest title product, um, one of the longest out there, um, but such a good one. So if you have any other recommendations for tinted moisturisers, if you've used this one and you've found something else that you feel is better or a tinted moisturiser that you just think is awesome, let me know. But it would be nice to try something different, so let me know. Right, very, very simple products that I use for my no makeup makeup. Um, one of the best things, and I wasn't sure whether I'd use this, and actually it's something I reach for a lot, is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape shifter 
be very careful what you say there, palette. It comes in two um, choices. I have the light medium and then there's a medium dark. And it's like this. You have a powder side with a mirror and then you flip the mirror and you have a cream side and I found this really really useful for everything don't just think of it as a contouring palette because I don't really contour my face I do sort of add colour to give definition but I don't go in for hard contouring it's great as eyeshadow, highlighter, concealer just a really really good palette and I'm surprised how much I do reach for it but if you've been looking at it and thinking mm, it's just contouring it really isn't um I did put a little bit of um concealer obviously under my eye and my favorite is the beauty pie this is super luminous concealer and I have light 200 just a little foam applicator on the end and you just squeeze and then apply This is such a lovely concealer. If you have um, an older skin type like myself and you find that sometimes concealers sit under the eye or after a couple of hours that they sort of, you get that crease sometimes under the eye, this really doesn't, really doesn't. And just taking it down the centre of my face just to lighten and lift that area. Next, I used from the Urban Decay palette, I went into the cream side and I just used some of the middle shade and I'm just going to use my finger again and blend that over my eye. Very similar to the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, maybe it has a little bit more pink to it and I'm just going to take that up towards the brow, again just to sort of lift and give the eye some brightness above as well as below and they're so creamy I just love like butter absolutely beautiful texture really lovely just love that to line my eye I use Beauty Pie again this is one of their eyeshadow pencils um, really lovely the colour is with the band and it's sort of a bronzy, it's almost got a little bit of an olive tone and I just ran that across the top of my lash line pencil brush, this is Zoeva 230 and I just blended that it's a good pencil because it really holds its colour as well just took it up slightly and then just blended it outwards slightly. Same with the other eye. And then just with my finger, I just blurred the colour onto my mobile lid. So there's still a little bit of definition of the line but just blurring the colour out. Really good pencil. I will definitely look at getting some more of those. I then just use some of the darker um, bronzing powder, just on a very loose brush. This is a dupe um, of the NARS brush. This is from Amazon. Just to give a little bit more colour to the face, taking it sort of down here and around the temples then I use some of the fabulous highlighter which is really good for using on under your brow or anywhere on the face just to give that lovely sheen it's such a soft beautiful finish it's like glass and it has a lot of shimmer actually in the powder but when it's on the face you don't see the shimmer you just see the sheen and what I didn't do was put any blusher on um, that day so I had no other colour on my cheek if you wanted a bit of colour but you wanted to keep it very neutral the Max Factor Nude Mauve sometimes just gives a little bit more depth 
um, and it's not as glaringly obvious either so it was all about subtlety really got some mascara it was the Urban Decay it's a sample of their perversion mascara which I really like and I only put mascara on the top lashes I then used some of the DHC lip cream, which is just a lip balm. I like it because it's not overly slicky, so it feels nice, but it doesn't feel too runny on the lips. Work that in. And then I use a lip pencil just to give a little bit of colour. A slightly different one. Um, it's quite a hard tone for me. It's the NARS um, Velvet Lip Liner and it's Belle Mare, um, which is almost a sort of purple mauve colour. Hence why I would match the sort of blusher and lippy together. They would complement each other. And liner will go on obviously a lot smoother over a lip balm. Now you could always apply the lip liner first and the balm after and obviously then you'd have a harder, stronger colour. I just like the softness of putting a pencil over a balm, it's more comfortable to wear. It's obviously not going to last as long but it makes it more slippy but it is just a soft colour and that's all I did. That was my very simple no makeup makeup and I think my hair was off my face as well. I'll try and find the picture and insert it somewhere. That's my no makeup makeup. Thank you for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Take care. Thank you again Liz for requesting this video. I hope it all makes sense. Bye for now.